Hello, guys. How's it going? So, I have been um, asked this about a million times. And the question is, why do I hate Wolverhampton drivers? Right, for one, before I start this video, I don't actually hate Wolverhampton drivers. There's actually a few in my WhatsApp group. Um, in my driver matter WhatsApp group, on my work group. And, um, yeah, some of them are local working lads. Do you know what I mean? The Scousers, whatever, whatever. Some of them obviously not as well. But, like, because obviously Wolverhampton has become, like, a meme and it's been, like, a joke. Wolverhampton driver has become, like, a meme or, like, a joke. And obviously a lot of my TikToks are quite, <laughs> quite heavily Wolverhampton jokes, meme-type videos because they do well, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, a, a lot of people do hate them. Myself, personally, I don't. Um, the Litty, the label is Litty, they can't drive... Um, and obviously do you've flooded the market I want to spit some facts about Wolverhampton and the drivers and all that right for one yeah I don't know why but every time you see a picture of license and has pulled the car over for Baldy tyres or or there's been a crash a private hire driver crashed or caught on camera going down the wrong way or caught on camera driving like Miss Daisy or whatever <laughs> I'd say 90% are Wolverhampton drivers and I don't know why I don't know if it's because they become this meme people are looking out for them do you know what I mean to get that content on for what I don't know I don't know do they have easy tests or do you know what I mean like I, don't, I just don't know I don't I don't know the facts about that but I do know generally when you see some type of bad negative video about private hire it's in a Wolverhampton place of car in it but, um, but yeah, it, I don't hate them. It's just a bit of a joke, bit of a meme. But why they've got this kind of reputation, um, I don't know about their licensing procedure. I'm not going to go into that those details. But what I do know is they, were, they are very cheap or they were, and they were very fast. So technically, how the private hire industry work, works, tech, which is an Uber driver, is um, there's no limits of how many you can have. In any council, you just keep spitting them out. But normally, like private hire is a quite a revolving door. People will join the private hire, think it's great, realize it's not the best or it's not for them, and they'll leave. And then there'll be new guys waiting to come in. Revolving door. As they leave to come in, as they leave to come in. It's done this for years and years and years. It's always done it. It's a very topsy turvy type of industry. Um. Where was I? What's between the fourth? I'm so tired. But yeah, oh, sorry. So, yes, yeah, so it's a revolving door, right? So, I'll just say, I'm going to use an example Liverpool because that's obviously that's where I live. Liverpool is built up of mainly three councils Knowsley, Sefton, and Liverpool, right? Just as an example, just say these numbers are made up. Just say Sefton, Knowsley, and Liverpool can only process 10 badges per day. So, generally, you're going to get 30 new private hire drivers per day coming into Liverpool, right? Some of them will be working elsewhere. I know there's a lot of Sefton and Nosley plated drivers in Manchester, but they're local Manx coming to get badged there because of the price of Manchester and obviously they, um, they don't want to do knowledge tests and stuff like that. I'll go more into that in a sec. But just say 30 new drivers per day come rolling into Liverpool, right? On average, any between 10 and 40 would leave the industry. For whatever reason, retired, don't like it, want more security, go to a different job, whatever. So just like that. New ones come in, old ones go. Now, the reason you're hitting about 10 per license is because it's a processing thing. There's limited staff, budgets, whatever, whatever, whatever. They can only process a certain amount. So in Liverpool, there was this is an example of the numbers, 30 drivers coming through every day. But then these new drivers are coming in, going, I want to I want to apply. Sefton, six-month wait. Liverpool, knowledge test, <gasps> not doing that. Nosley, whatever, eight-month wait. <sighs> what can I do? Wolverhampton comes in, wearing a red cape, and goes, come over to us. Through the uh, Deregulation Act, you can still work in Liverpool under Uber's operators, but come down to us. We are cheaper. There's no knowledge test. 
Uh, I don't know what of a test. I'm not going to make a joke just in case I get myself into trouble. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know their procedures. But I know there's no knowledge test. And I know they are cheap, a lot cheaper. So as an example, Manchester. To get a Manchester licence, I've heard it's very expensive. There's quite a strict knowledge test, like Liverpool. So everyone's going to Wolves for the cheap and the speed. And then they're coming back to Manchester. They'll come back to Liverpool. But now what the problem is, the local firms in Liverpool see this opportunity and go, oh, our councils are going slow. We can get more drivers in for more money. So they got Wolverhampton operated licences. So then they were advertising, getting more drivers into them and sending them down to Wolves to get plated, come back to Liverpool and work Liverpool on a local company on a Wolves badge. But now the problem is we've got 60, 70 new drivers per day. 10 Sefton, 10 Nosley, 10 Liverpool, 30 Wolverhampton every day. So you've got 70 new drivers coming in, coming in when there's only 30, 40 leaving. Now obviously the numbers are made up but that's the actual thing. The reason people go to Wolverhampton is because it's cheaper, but mainly as well because it's a lot faster and it's easier than some councils. Do you know what I mean? So instead of going, oh, six month wait, I'll go and get one in two weeks in Wolves. Because near, near the beginning, they were rapid. Like now, Wolverhampton are quite slow because of, everyone wants their Wolves badge. Do you know what I mean? So they are quite slow and I think they are changing the procedures and getting a bit more strict or whatever, whatever. But initially, they were super fast. People were going down there, getting the course done in a day, getting bum bum coming back, literally week, week or two, and you and you're getting badged. Do you know what I mean? Um, where it was taking six, eight months here, and that's where the reputation of the Wolves driver and the Wolverhampton council has come in, and that's where people say they're they're flooding the market, and it's not out of town drivers taking your work; it's local lads. But these local lads wouldn't be getting licensed. If, the, if there's no Wolves badges, these local lads would be in a queue to get licensed. And everything would be in order. And I think that is the main reason, gripe, why people hate Wolverhampton and like the badge and the whole presence. Now, Uber's region, I've talked about this before in the past, Uber's region, especially ours in the Northwest, is massive. Like, massive. Right? And a lot of drivers can work in multiple areas, which does kill the trade as well. So if Liverpool are at home in Anfield, half of Manchester will drive up it down here. Some Birmingham lads might drive up the M6 to work the match, which kills it for the local lads. Now that does happen, and you see a lot of drivers, out-of-town drivers, on those big events. This is not just Liverpool, I'm not saying poor Liverpool, it happens everywhere. Manchester, United at home, lads will be driving down to Old Trafford to work it. Do you know what I mean? They're chasing the work and chasing the money because it is quiet. Do you know what I mean? But that's the reason why the Wolverhampton drivers and the, and the cars and the council has got that reputation. Um, I can't remember the, the exact fact, but I think if every Wolverhampton driver went back to Wolverhampton, there'd be three taxis per street in Wolverhampton. <laughs> every street would have two to three taxis. In each street. That's how many drivers they've got. Do you know what I mean? Like crazy amount of numbers of drivers. But yeah, but it's funny though, because like I done a few I done a few videos on my TikToks and uh, one of them was there was a driver just past his wolves badge. So he had his badge, he was a fully fledged private hire driver, and he turned up to the test station to get the vehicle tested, to get that plated so he he could then work. And there's a video circling I shared on my TikTok, and this fella turned up to get his car plated to work the taxis and he couldn't reverse into a parking bay and everyone was trying to guide him in and say and in the end I think what someone jumped in the car and done it for him he couldn't reverse in a parking bay but he was a private hire driver like how was that even like processed or passed I don't get it I don't understand um, I'm not saying that the Wolverhampton test is easy or whatever I don't know if you slip through the cracks or what, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying anything bad, you know what I mean? I'm just I'm just trying to give my opinion and obviously explaining why people's opinion of Wolves is hatred. And that's probably the reason why. Do you know what I mean? You, you, you sat here and you're a local badge driver and then an out-of-town driver drives up, picks up a customer, 
you've you've been parked up waiting, and you're like, that could have been my job. Do you know what I mean? I've 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 been a passenger lately in an Uber quite a lot over the holidays, and every driver who's from Manchester lived in Manchester and drove down from Manchester to work Liverpool. I don't know why. I don't know why. But literally, I'm not even messing. I think I've got four or five Ubers. All, all places from different places. But they would all lived in, um, lived in Bury, lived in Manchester, lived in... Yeah, and he's driving down to Liverpool. Don't know why. But obviously, that's. I think that aspect is a bit unfair. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've always said, I think you should work where you live. Or around that area. I just don't think you should work, drive to a different city to work that city. And then drive home. Do you know what I mean? Difference if you drop off or here and you try and get a job back, stuff like that, that's different. But I'm honest, if you wake up in the morning and drive 30 miles down the road to work somewhere else's area, I think it's a bit bit nuts like. That's my personal opinion. But yeah, guys, the reputation of Wolverhampton and you see the cars and the drivers and you oh, look at him there. He literally might be a scout for me, or he might be a local lad. And he literally lives, breathes Liverpool, but he just didn't want to wait eight months to get his badge from a local badge. Now, you can't blame him. He needs to. There's there's an opportunity there to go and get his badge quicker than others. You can't blame him. Do you know what I mean? I'm not blaming any driver who's gone to Wolverhampton. I'm not blaming Wolver- Wolverhampton Council. They've, made, they've seen an income opportunity and they have nailed it. Like Wolverhampton Council, surprised, they're probably the richest council in the UK because of the private hire industry. Um, that was a joke, by the way. But yeah, like I said, you don't, don't blame anyone. It's just hard. Just it is just hard to deal with it, and I think it's what's one of the main reasons why at the moment it's a bit it's a bit struggling. It's a it's a, it's a bit it's a bit bad, and obviously as well the current climate of where everyone's skint. Everyone could have, can't afford the gas and like so they can't afford to get a taxi. Do you know what I mean? They opt them for a bus or two pound night bus or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But kind of generally, this is the reason why the Wolverhampton drivers, cars, and council has got this reputation and why a lot of online jokes and memes is about Wolverhampton do you know what I mean and it's all because of what's been happening over the last few years Wolverhampton is not, is not the only council Sefton's done in the past massively like there's 10,000 Sefton drivers and live and breathe and work in Manchester uh, Nosley's done it a bit not as much but I think what's made it so extreme what's made, highlighted it so much is that Wolverhampton has done it on like a grand scale like a massive scale. Do you know what I mean? Like I think three out of our biggest local taxi companies except Wolverhampton drivers and I've got Wolverhampton operators license. Because there's so many of them. Nuts guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to go now because I'm knackered and I've been uh, quite a busy day today. Let me know in the comments guys what you think. Am I Have I hit the nail on yet there? I don't want to be, I don't want to be slagging anyone off. I don't want any negativity guys. Do you know what I mean? I know a few lads Wolverhampton played to live and breathe and scousers live in Liverpool and he literally took that opportunity to get on the taxis quicker. Even though technically he shouldn't have. If you get me. For the uh, for the whole grand scheme of things. But yeah, that's it guys. Listen, thanks very much for watching. As per usual. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe and all that jazz. Check me out on TikTok. It's slowly growing. And as per, see you all later guys. I'm going home. Ta-da.